Hello YouTube and welcome to the Diamond Series. Today we are doing Shelter Mission Imps Adventure and we might as well go and do some broken spaces because it's fun with our Lord of Fear Aspen. On the Diamond Series today we are slowly but surely getting closer and closer to a world where we can build a second Transcendence Hero. This week we saw the release of the brand new update that gives us Destiny Heroes, a way of improving your Tree of Origin heroes to Tree of Origin level 120 and taking them up and beyond to the higher tiers of power if you get to Nirvana level 100. Now, is that worth it for this account? Well, even if it was, I'd have to have enough sublimation to go ahead and fully upgrade Lord of Fear Aspen. Now, technically I can with the sub chests I have and also the sublimation that's already on Lord of Fear Aspen, go ahead and fully upgrade his sublimation. But then I'd also have to get into level 120 and then I'd also have to go ahead and get some of the new currency from campaign to even level him up in the first place. And I need a noble core. So that stuff ain't gonna happen. But if you're a free-to-play player and you're curious, hey, is that even achievable, this new stuff? Well, considering this account isn't even a year old, and in that time I've managed to gain enough sublimation to fully sublime my Lord of Fear Aspen, then uh, yeah, I think it's perfectly reasonable that you, as a player, could do this as free-to-play. But also, I don't think it's even worth going for it, at the moment at least, for the state of the game, until you have enough progress and enough Transcendence Heroes to get to 2510 in campaign. Which, I mean, with a single Aspen, that's, uh, that's, that's not gonna happen. So I think we just sit pretty for a bit, wait to see what happens, and don't worry about that. So instead, today, we're just gonna go ahead and do the normal event like nothing happened. So we'll start off with Shelter Mission. We're gonna go ahead and pop in our Time Mages here. We need a five-star hero as well, who we can use as food. We'll just pop in this Sigmund, there you go. And that's gonna be a home young. Let's go put in our Grumpy Corpses. That's gonna be for Shadow, and a Shadow Fodder hero. Wow, I don't have anyone. Man, it's almost as if the last episode we went and tidied up all of our heroes on this account. I'm going to need to pull some stuff out to use as food. I'm just going to do a casual itty bitty blast of four stars. Maybe we'll even get our Akashas for this account because I don't have any Akashas. Wow, I got three. Oh, I'm a god. That's so lucky because one of them I already had. So that takes me straight to four. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's just solved my problems entirely. I thought we were going to have a whole thing about how it was going to be hard to get a Akasha this week. But no, it just gave me three copies. So that's good. Uh, so instead, I think we just put in a fodder hero. Not quite sure who that's going to be here. Is it just a queen? No, I need queens. I should be able to do a big quick upgrade. Yep, at least we now have a fodder hero to put in. There's lamb. Perfect. Right, now we do the same with Vesa. Put in these thales. Put in a five star. We've got a chief up there. Yeah, it's fine. And now the Akashas. We should still have those lying around. Yep, and then a five star is going to be Norma. Ah, no, we'll do him a Larsus. He's not able to be made to six star. Perfect. And then light and darks are crap. Okay, with all that done, let's go to Imps Adventure. Uh, we're going to roll the dice. I don't like smashing. Every time I smash, I get screwed. And not in a good way. So we'll just go. Hopefully we roll a six now and get a lucky dice. Five? Well, that's annoying. Six? Hey, we got our dice back. That's good. I think we get bonuses for using ordinary dice this week as well, so that's nice. Oh, mushroom card? Came a little early, but that's fine. One. Oh, it gets doubled as well. So we're two level twos. That's nice. Let's get a big roll here. A three. Oh, karma hooded. That's 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 terrible. All right, we get a six. That's nice. Go. Yay! Level three on that one. Come on. Three. No. One. Okay. Power up. Okay. If this levels up a mushroom hood, I'm a god. Oh, it didn't. It leveled up dust. That that's that's unfortunate. Right. Two and four. Six. Nope. Come on. Just land on the mushroom huts, please. Okay, give me a lucky dice. Nope. Try again. Nope. Try again. Nope. Imagine we do this entire run without a lucky dice. I don't think that's ever happened to me. Oh, I thought that was going to upgrade a mushroom hut then. Okay, now we got two level threes though. That's good. So we just now need to land in the corner. Right, two or four. Five. Oh, oh no. I think we're not going to get a lucky dice. Lucky card? Watch me roll a five. Ooh! Wow! I actually did it! That's insane. 
That's that's how you get a lucky dice like an absolute pro. That was really good. Okay. Oh, and then we roll a five there. Okay, now we're talking. This is some next level insane luck. Okay, watch me roll a five on the ordinary dice. A two. Oh, we're on the corner. No! Right, one or a three. I don't want to use the lucky dice because I really need to land in this corner. Oh, we got a six. That's still okay. Hmm. At least we got an ordinary dice back there. Two again. Two. Loving the twos right now, aren't you? And now I have to go lucky dice for six. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Wow. Okay, lucky dice for six again. We're never going to upgrade the corner at this rate. And that makes this entire run a dreadful imps adventure. It, it couldn't possibly be that bad, really. Energy card? Well, at least we get some materials. Oh my word. And I'm out of ordinary dice. But with 114. That's actually good. Like, really good. Huh. Now, the summer melody gives us Master's Toolboxes and Stellar Shots. So I'm kind of tempted to spend more ordinary dice. We've done 52. And we know in the event currency, we're going to be spending about 2,500. Then again, that could just take me to 200 and I'm happy. Or maybe even 300. I'm, yeah, that'll just take me to 300 and I'm happy. Do I keep going or do I stop? I mean, we could just stop. Do I need a five-star chest? I mean, we're okay for five-star chests. I do it for the content? You say that, but it's also a lot of gems. It's 4,500. And next week is going to drain a lot of gems. Hmm. Then again, you're right. If we do invest, we could get star spawn cores. That is true. And then we'd end up spending... How much? In the Astrological Tales? 3,000? And then it doesn't matter how many points we get from Imps Adventure because we'd have already got to 300 and we're never going to get to 400. Maybe we just spend the minimum amount of gems to get ourselves to 200 points. If we can push to 230, that's really good because at least then we're getting Celestial Island resources. Now, you are right. Before we forget to do anything, let's do the soul contract. So we put that sleepless in there. We'll exchange him. I need to get a light six star. That should be easy to do. One, two, three, four, five, and I should be able to pull another Fodorino dude thing. Yep, that's fine. So we can make a light six star. Nice and easy. And then we feed that guy as well. And contract story gems are always good to get. Now you might think, MK, you're going to do the Gala this week? Not worth it. It doesn't go up to 300 points. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm going to do him's adventure just for the fun though. Let's, 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 let's see what happens, right? 15 dice. It's not the end of the world. We might get that quarter. We might not. Let's see. Okay. If I roll a two or a four, this is great. A four. Perfect. Now I have two lucky dice. I haven't even used a lucky dice yet. That's how ridiculous this run is. Oh, and now we're about to use one. Well, there you go. Just kind of just cut off that whole corner again. Sure. Oh, so stupid. I'm kind of getting lucky and also unlucky simultaneously. Right, one, two, three, four, five on this lucky dice to upgrade that corner. And then we do two on this lucky dice just to get to the lucky hut again. And then we're back to rolling ordinary dice. Rolling like all over the place, ones and then sixes and then it's a very strange game. And then we get a six here, that's, that's good. Cutting off that whole corner. 162. This feels okay. I feel like we've been all right here. That one, less good. We're definitely getting to 200. So let's go and buy, I think, seven. Just half again. There's four. We get our ordinary dice back. Nice. 
Six. And then one, two, three, four, five. If I had a five, that's a high roll. Three. Okay. I'm still going to use an ordinary dice again. I want a two or a four. Six. Ah, that's annoying. My luck has been really bad on that corner. Really, really bad. Ah, now we're just getting ones. What is this? Power up card. Wait. That upgraded it because it was the last one remaining. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's actually amazing. So we're on 181. With eight dice remaining. You think we're getting 230 out of this? I'll, I'll see. It, it might get really lucky. So we'll put in half again. There's four. Let's see what happens. You say no way? Let's find out. We might get crazy lucky. We're on 191 already. That was one dice. Okay, if I keep rolling like that, well, at least I get the dice back here. Three ones back to back? Bro. Why? That's just not cool. Hmm. Okay, we buy a one ordinary dice. Now, at this point, I could just leave it. We get to 200 points regardless. But that's not fun. Let's roll dice. Bang. Trick. Of all the things that could have happened, that was the only universe where two dice didn't guarantee me 200 points. Did we win? Jess, I don't think we won. I think we got screwed. What a waste of extra gems. Back four. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Rebirth would have done the same. Actually, no, no, no. Rebirth would have just sent me back to the beginning. And then I just lucky dice for five anyway. Rebirth would have been fine. Ironically. Trick was literally the only thing. And I think at this point, the dream's dead. Just roll a six and call it a day. And that's 200 points. I'm, I'm sorry. We, uh, we didn't get to 230. <sighs> that was scuffed. Yeah. I think that was definitely scuffed. Right, let's claim our rewards. How many points are we getting from this? It's like 250, right? Yeah. 250 fortune orbs. That takes me to 2700, which means I can use my universal crystals, only half of them, and we should be able to get Starspawn Core 5s. Now, if you look at the Summer Melody... We did 83 ordinary dice there. 83. That means we got so many extra ordinary dice. Because we still have two in the tank. That was the most unbelievably annoying journey I've ever been on. Let's go to the monthly events and do something a little more fun. Let's do Broken Spaces. Let's see what this Lord of Fear Aspen is going to do. So we've got a little boss fight team here. We've got Hardwatcher. we got Rogan. we got Carrie, Drake, Ignis for Energy Feed. And then Lord of Fear Aspen so he can bonk. I think this is going to be very satisfying. We should probably one-shot this initially with Aspen. He's got that melodic strings. Big damage right there. There you go. Instant kill. First one dead in a single shot. Now, I'm not surprised Lord of Fear Aspen's really good at killing bosses. But let's see if we can get all the way to Broken Spaces 9. Bang. There you go. Drake plus Aspen. What a combo. Stage 3. Here we go. Two Margarets. Let's see what happens here. There's your first active. And then you get your energy feed for Grignus. And then you one-shot the thing. And then Drake's gonna debuff this third Margaret. Or second Margaret, sorry. And uh, we just do a basic, that's fine. Then you got your energy feed. And smack. That's good, round four. Getting that clear in. Okay, next one is Gru. With Drake's defense down, these Grus will still get minced. It's going to take a few more hits, though. That initial active skill not managing to kill that Gru. Still got the energy feed here from the Ignis, though, which will be dead nice. Probably one shot, Mr. Slot 1 Gru now. We'll have to see. Uh, no, we don't crit. We are getting debuffed by the Gru. He is reducing our crit, which is annoying. But, um, that's a hard time. Question in chat saying, well, who's the best hero in the game excluding Transcendence Heroes? That's an impossible question to answer. That's like asking who's the best Pokemon, not including legendaries. It, it, it's it's not answerable. I don't think there is such a thing. Like, there's, there's a million different reasons for why it could be, like, any hero. 
that can be imprinted and put in a home. And even then, you'd say with support heroes, like, some of them are ridiculous. Some support heroes are just borderline broken, like Heartwatch or, like, Gurk. Olivia's really good. Ignis's energy feed's really good. Amon Ra's bubble's really good. And that's just supports, right? Eloise, as just a solo carry, is nuts. Garuda can be borderline unfun. Carry's energy steal is insane. There are so many really, really, really good heroes that trying to answer that question just, you know, it's not possible. Like, if someone had to put a gun against my head and say I had to choose, I would be inclined to go with someone like Olivia, because I think she's evergreen, because Shrink is such a powerful ability. But even then, I don't know if that's the case. So uh, the, the question's not a great question, because it's up for debate. However, it's a really good title of a YouTube video, because there's no answer, therefore everyone's got an opinion, so everyone puts something in the comments section, and then the algorithm goes nuts. So, yeah, maybe maybe we do a video where that's the question. I mean, we've done something similar before. I think we need to do that again. Get chat to vote on who their favorite hero is. It's been a while since we made a video like that. Either way, we're having a breeze of a time here. Absolutely crushing broken spaces. One tapping everything. Corpse Demon Oberon is the classic, right? It is the classic wave that used to cause people problems. But I'm pretty sure even now, this is not an issue. Like, we're gonna hit that Corpse Demon a bit. Like, I'm having some deja vu right now, because I'm remembering where you have to hit Corpse Demon a few times for Drake's debuff to move across to him, and when it does, it's game over. So, I think at this point, yeah, you can see the debuff's now moved across. Now Corpse Demon's considered lowest HP. So at this point, like, Aspen just needs to do enough active skills, and he wins. Now, I don't have enough Demon Bells on this lineup uh, to basically energy feed the team enough. I do need more Demon Bells on the Diamond series. But if we had, like, loads of Demon Bells, like, continuous energy feed would make Broken Spaces a freaking joke. Uh, and there you go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And you hope they buff every stage of Broken Spaces? Uh, I hope they don't buff the stages in Broken Spaces, because I think the whole point is this becomes, like, your first taste as an early player into boss fights. That, you know, you feel good about yourself for managing to beat these. And then, you know, there's bigger fish to fry, like Star Expedition. And then the new freaking Void bosses, higher-end seal lands. Maybe if they brought, like, Broken Spaces Stage 10 and 11, and then updated that just to have some interesting heroes. Like, I'd love to see an Amon Ra Penny Broken Spaces. That would be really funny. But they kind of just skipped Amon Ra and Penny as anniversary heroes. They just kind of were like, nah, let's, let's not do that. They were like, here's Carrie, here's Tara, here's Drake, here's Russell. They were doing like the top end light and darks. If they did an Amon Ra Penny, I think you'd just die. Because <laughs> Amon Ra will healing curse you which will kill you, and Penny will reflect armor you, which will kill you. <laughs> That's the boss fight I want to see. Because that would be genuinely unfun. And then the void bosses are pretty much Transcendent Seal and Yeah, yeah, I think that's the mindset. That's what I was calling it yesterday. And I think that's a fair way of looking at it. Right, come on Aspen. Kill the Aspen. Come on, you kill him before round 15. Don't embarrass yourself. You got an active skill. Bro, you couldn't even finish him? Dude, you do extra damage. There we go, round 15. Whoa. That was scary. Very scary. Um, I thought we weren't going to do that, but we one-tapped the whole thing. That's nice. So now comes stage 8. How many hits is this going to take? I have a thousand tickets. So, you can probably guess it's going to go quite well, um, considering I've managed to save up that many tickets. You think it's three taps? It might be. It might be more. I don't know. Two million attack Aspen. Trio Origin 5, maxed out active skill on sublimations, with double upgrades on his passives. Carry does have energy steal here, though, which is a little annoying. We do get our crit damage bonus from Rogan, though, which is good. Aspen doing a little bit of damage. It's enough that it's visible that I think we can smash this. There's Phoenix as well. Oh, that's good. Look at that damage there on carry. A nice, sizable chunk coming out. 
And the team somehow is still alive. So the passive heal's doing rather well here. Um, wow, we get an active from Aspen. And then they didn't energy steal the Ignis, which means Ignis is now going to energy feed Aspen. Oh, and then he instantly gets stolen by carry. <laughs> I'm impressed, though. Aspen's got more active skills than I thought he would do, which is very nice. So good on him. But getting pushed back into basic attacks is a little annoying. Um, but yeah, carry's basic is random for who it steals energy from. So as long as she's not getting active skills, we're okay. Uh, she's about to get one now, though, which is a little unfortunate. Um, oh, no, we're okay. We're good. Because our carry can steal her energy too. So carry is a nice counter for carry, actually. And then Aspen should have a nice juicy active. Crack down there. That's a sizable chunk. That's one hit. Lolbit might be right on this with his guess. Either way, 127 billion is, is very, very, very good against that. So that's fight one. We'll smash once. Here's fight two. And um, now we're on 60%. Do you reckon this is just now an instant win? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Me. That carry, she's going to get wrecked. It could just be E4 attacks, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because we do bonus damage against the opponent who has less than 60% HP. And we do bonus damage against bosses. So we're all right here. So smack that down. There you go. Carry's dead. And now everything focuses Tara, which is going to be insane. Like, Tara's going to get minced because there's no energy steal anymore either from the enemy carry. So our team gets more actives, which means more energy on Aspen, and everything focuses on Tara. So we might just beat this this time. But we don't have Antler's Cane, which is a shame. But I don't think that's going to matter too much. So there you go. There's our energy. Smack. Yep. Okay. Feeling good here. We're in a real good spot. Aspen's going to do an active, then Ignis is going to energy feed him, so we get two actives back to back, which is really good. Come on, we need to get Tara into that sub-60 zone so that his active skills put him work from that Lord of Fear Aspen there. I think he's around 70% health right now. And we just need a huge active. It's going to drop him down, but I think, yeah, it's going to be four attacks, not three. Yeah, 199, though, is really, really clean. That's great damage. Which means, yeah, it's one more, and we get this. Yeah, 35%. And everything's now going to get focused on Tara. And we do way more damage to Tara here. Because, uh, yeah, same as last time. Obviously, we have way more active skills because there's no carry around. And now that Tara's hit that 60% threshold, he's just going to take way more damage from Aspen when the active skill pops. So, yeah, you're going to see Tara's health just disappear. We should beat this by, I guess, round 11, round 12. So, yeah, we'll be all right. The basic doesn't really do much, but when the active hits... Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Mincing his HP. And also, Heart Watch's buffs are coming out too, which means we're progressively doing more and more damage. Which is good. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Loads of extra damage. And there's so much attack steal here too. Like Lord of Fear Aspen steals attack and um, Heart Watcher steals attack. So we're not going to die to these guys either. Which is why we're able to stay alive here. Okay, so my prediction about round 11, round 12 ain't looking too correct. It's probably going to end up being round 13. Because we're forced to do a basic here. Um, Ignis is going to gain a load of energy. Which, yeah, Aspen just does a basic. So that energy feed on the Ignis is kind of wasted, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. That's a shame. So we might not even beat this. It might end up being... Yeah, it ended up being bad because Ignis's energy feed is actually out of sync, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So if we had a round 16, we might have beaten that. That was a pretty poor round, actually. So this is this is beaten in a smash, thankfully. So we know that. Right, there you go. There's the win. And now comes stage 9, which is interesting. I think this is going to be fine, though. That's just Drake and Russell. So this should be a pretty easy win. And Nick Sagon, thanks, man. Two months there. Thank you for the two months of Prime sub. If you want to be like Nick Sagon, join us on Twitch. And if you've got Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. Cheers, buddy. You think this is five taps as well? I, I don't know. I think this is going to be considerably harder because Russell's arrows are going to hunt our heroes. Drake-Russell is a disgusting combo that should never be underrated. I think it's going to be way more attacks. You see it's Mince in our team. 
So we're just going to be left with Aspen, and I think Aspen just dies. And hey, look at that. The Prime subs are coming through now. Thank you, Alb. Much appreciated, buddy. Yeah. We're dead. We're absolutely dead. So, yeah, this is where we start to struggle. Although 21 is still fine. Um, so that's going to do, like, what? 2%? So it's probably, like, 30 hits. Because we'll have to get down to 60, and then we do way more damage. So I'm, I'm guessing we're still going to be at 1100, but I don't think it's going to be very high in the 1100. So if we smash this and find out... Um, oh, yeah, there you go. That was a 26 hits in total. Or was it 36 hits? What are we on? 40? Yeah, 26. Okay. So that's, that's not the worst. That was a pretty cheap and easy clear of the entirety of Broken Spaces. Not bad. Not bad at all. I enjoyed that. Got a lot of resources coming through here. Dust, monster parts, gold, spirit. That will just add to my infinite collection of resources. And um, yeah, we're pretty good. The Diamond Series is doing really well at the moment. It's just coasting through several events. I think next week's event, this Lunatic Asylum is going to be nuts. If you want to see how that goes, we have a ton of profit up saved. We're on a juicy, juicy 231. And we've got some stuff in the arena as well, which can be converted. So, I mean, how many is that we've got? Like another 89. So we've got a load of profit orbs potentially able to be used. So maybe like four loops in profit orbs. And we also have 65,000 gems. So hopefully that's going to translate into a bunch of progress. We'll have to wait and see. But if you want to see how that goes, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll be getting some really good power. And we're super close now to another Transcendence Hero. We're on 4 million crystals. So yeah, we're not too far away from getting that to 5 million, which will be really good. Now we'll finish today with just a 10 bomb in our cores. We could go in Fate. We could go in Guidance. I keep switching between these because, uh, I mean, Fate's fun. I think a 10 bomb in Fate is just a good time. Let's see if we get some spheres from this. You ready? No, I didn't. Oh, well. Should have gone in Guidance. Rip. See you next time, folks. You know the drill. Hit that comment button. Hit the subscribe button. Type things. Do things like, I don't, I don't know. Or whatever you feel is good for the algorithm. Maybe don't do any. Maybe dislike it. I don't know. Does that even, does that work? Does, does that help the algorithm? I don't know. Share it with your mom. No context. Or your dad. Just be like, dad, here's a video. I think you'll like it. <laughs> yeah, maybe don't do that. Or just subscribe. See you next time, folks. Have a good week. And of course, you know the drill. Happy idling.